Probably don't look like it right now, but I got seven rods on here. Yeah, damn, where the fuck are all that? On the side. One, two, I have uh, two here, two here, and I got a couple that I'm using. And see, I can just reach over here and grab this other rod. Crappie rod I got rigged up, ready to go. I, I mounted that. That's actually a cooking rack from Walmart. So I'm gonna show you guys how I made these rod holders. You can see I got a nine foot fly rod on here and five other rods. And with this setup, I can still rip around under the trees like this. So I'm going to show you how I made this. this. is a very simple thing that you could add to your kayak. Now I can't guarantee it will fit like it does on the Kaku Zulu, but it's very simple and very effective. I have this mounted to my seat and all I have to do is just reach down and grab another rod anytime I want to switch out. This would be perfect for people that are in tournaments or people that just don't want to retie a lot or you have multiple rods. This is for you. So you could face these rods forwards or backwards. It's a very simple design and it's pretty cheap as well. I'm going to show you everything you need to make this. You can face them either direction, you know, just depending on what you'd rather. Would you rather it sticking out the front or out the back? Now these are on there. They're not just going to fall off. These are solid. You actually have to really try to pull these off. <clears throat> like I said. I break something before I just knock one off. You have to press them out. Same thing to put it back, it doesn't just pop in. You have to press it in one side at a time. So it holds it in very nice. These are not going anywhere. So all we have is a grease rack or a baking cooling rack from Walmart. with some rod holders from Walmart. I took some tin snips and cut out around where the little uh, knob is to tighten the seat down. It's the only thing I did. And then I just zip tied everything together. 